We're going all out and revealing our entertaining secrets so you can host like the pros. The hilarious Cheryl Hines stops by the party. Howdy! Michael's got two winning dishes perfect for your next get-together. And we're satisfying your sweet tooth with a simple, delicious dessert. We're headed to your afternoon happy place right now on The Tunes. Welcome to The Chew. I don't know about you guys, but I love a party, a soiree, a good old-fashioned gathering. But if the idea of hosting makes you heave, this show is for you today. We're showing you some awesome recipes and tips you can host like the pros. Okay. Yes! Host to make you heave. All right, how are you guys doing today? Happy doing Thursday. Fantastic. Is it Thursday? Thursday. It is Thursday. It's Thursday, Thursday all day. Oh, all day. I'm excited about that. All right, I want to start off the show with a recipe today because I'm super excited about this one because it came to me in a dream. A drunken dream. I okay. <laughs> you had a couple soothing but potent beverages. Maybe. Not, not too many, but I was, I was craving this, and I'm going to make it today on the show. It's tater tot taco pizza. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It's exciting. We're making... It sounds gassy. <laughs> really? Do you get do you get gas from tater tots? Ta tater tot taco. Yeah, I, I think bad things may happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I sure hope so. Fingers <laughs> crossed. All right. So these are this is a bag of tater tots which I have defrosted and I put them in the food processor just to pu on pulse to break them down. Okay, into little like yes. crumbs. So we got a potato crumb wow. crust. Goes into the bowl. I gotta tell you, you Crafty. tend to have a lot of recipes, like the the frozen potato. You're a fan of it. No, it's good. I like a frozen hash brown. I yes. like a tater tot. You know oh, what? I know I, the IQF stuff or whatever, but the, fro the, the potatoes are one of those things that freeze incredibly well. Yeah. 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 And I feel like when you make, you know, things from with like a, a hash brown or a tater tot from scratch, forget, that's a oh, lot of oh, work. My. It's a lot of work and it never Screw really. Screw it. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to time for that. Okay. <laughs> So, so <laughs> all right, so I added a little bit of flour and a beaten egg. Can you hit me with some salt and pepper, please, I Michael can. Simon? Okay. All right, great. Thank you very much. And then the key to this also is a nice hot cast iron uh, pan that you've had in the oven or on top of the stove just to get it hot because you want this crust to get nice and crusty because what is a crust if it's not crusty? Yeah, it's, 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 okay. It shouldn't be called a crust. Yes. Right, good. So I put this in the pan and I press it down and that'll oh, take no, me a minute or so. So feel free to talk amongst oh, yourselves right. over there. Oh, so no oil or anything. It just goes oh, right just in a little the... oil, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you put it in first or second. It's oh. fine. It's all going to come together. Oh, so it's Clinton's tater top pizza. could do it any way he damn well pleases. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have a kind of a funny story as you're doing that because I know it's going to take you a second. So, um, as, as you guys uh, know, I, I have I'm a little bit afraid of like bugs freak me. Yes, out. you don't like the bugs. I don't like the spiders. I don't like I could wrestle a grizzly bear, but like a bug really kind of gets in my way. Maybe like not a grizzly you. bear, a black bear. Let's um, say really not as ferocious as a grizzly bear. Maybe you can wrestle a like a raccoon or something. Or raccoon <laughs> to the death. <laughs> so. But in the morning when I wake up, and Liz always yells at me about this, when I let out Ozzy, I, oh, he loves to lay half in, half out of the house. So I, oh, like that. Uh, so I always leave the doors yeah. open and oh. let him kind of be, he's adorable. He's adorable. I, so kind of half in, half out. And Liz's like, you're letting all the bugs in the house. I'm like, yeah, but the dog's happy. So I'm laying in bed last night, and I hear, Cricket. like that. But it's incredibly close to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Oh my God, there's a cricket in the I house. I hate when that happens. There uh. must be a cricket in the house. And I have a wall. Liz is out cold. I, I hear the cricket. Liz hears no cricket. And there's a wall on the thing where all my hats are. And I like, it's under. <laughs> I pause. No sound. I'm like, I got the cricket. I lay in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Never found the cricket. Never found Liz the slept cricket. through the whole thing. You better hope cricket doesn't have baby crickets. Oh my God. But do they do that? A reproduction. Love my neighbors. All right, I've lived in New York City for 25 years. I don't know any of my neighbors. Oh. I, I've only been here for six, don't know any of my neighbors. Yeah, right. In fact, if a neighbor said to me, I want to, let's get together sometime, I'd be like, oh yeah, that sounds like a really great idea. <laughs> I mean, in Cleveland, I know my neighbors, you know, because yeah, yeah. Well, it's there's different. a yard, you're outside, you yeah. talk. But I literally, I don't know, I've never known one of my neighbors in New York. Why? I'm fine you with it. Don't, you don't do it in New York City. I feel like I'm being a New Yorker. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. They, no, come, come bringing, You don't get it in people's business. Mm -mm. I'm bringing the South to New York City. All right, good for you. I love it. I love it. Hey, neighbors. <laughs> They're going, oh, there's that lady that keeps bothering us. <laughs> Is that why you don't get on the elevator with me? Oh, my God. Do they really not? They go, oh. I, oh, oh. <laughs> Do they really? No, they no you're kidding. OK, that, that made me nervous. That made me a little sad. <laughs> it's OK, Carla, we love you. You you're don't do, really neighbor. do that, do you? <laughs> um, also, I don't know if you've seen this. What is trending now? Obviously, we know selfies have been trending, unfortunately, for the past, like, I don't know, decade, it seems like. But now there's a brand new trend sweeping Instagram. It's Ugh. the hashtag sleeping selfie. People literally hold the camera up while they pretend to be asleep, and then they post it on social media. God. Oh, look, like you don't have enough pictures of me during the day. Now I'm going to take one of myself when I'm sleeping. Look at me. Look at me. Look it's, at me. It's crazy. It's oh, crazy. It's, it's the look at me generation. I know. It is. Even look at me while I'm sleeping. Yeah. But with that being said, I did this to you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say. Oh, my I, God. But wait. What do you. Before we show the picture on a daytime television show, was this a picture you took yourself when you were sleeping and then you sent it to Damon? Oh, no, no, <laughs> this no. This isn't a dirty birdie picture. This is, you know, my friend Lisa. My friend Lisa oh, actually, yeah. actually took this picture of me two years ago and I posted it on social. It's me in bed with a giant fish. Oh, oh wow. You were, <laughs> you were out drinking and that's when you came up with this taco with pizza. With the taco pizza, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Carly, you've done this too, I'm I, sure. I... I I did the assignment. I did one this morning. And this is how I truly have my hair. I know with my little bonnet, Aww. I know I was really asleep. How did you take a picture of yourself while you were sleeping? And I woke up, I was like, all right, the sleep selfie. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was really, I, I was really kind of still sleepy. <laughs> I like your bonnet. I've never said it's that. It's so before. country. It's so country. I love it. I, the, the reason they didn't show my picture is because Carla and I had the same bonnet on. And <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a great hour today because Michael is sharing some tips just in time for football season. Woo! And we're making a cake that your party will love. And you know what? Around here at the Chew, we don't like to play favorites. But one of our favorites is joining us, Cheryl Hines. So we'll be right back. Tomorrow, Friday's here, and we've got some brand new chew just for you. We're keeping it simple with dishes you can make in minutes. Plus, we're hanging with actress Anne Heche and star of American Housewife, the fabulous Katie Mixon. It's another can't miss, gonna taste it day right here on The Chew. ABC's The Chew, brought to you by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. going to show you how to host like the pros right now. Welcome back to the Chew. Before the break, I started my tater tot taco pizza. A dish that would be the star of any party I'd host. I'm really enthusiastic about this dish, but I think I need some help. She's one of our favorite guests and the star of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Please welcome Cheryl Hines. So good. How is life? Life is good. For life you. is good. good. I can't complain. Whenever we see your name on the lineup, like who's coming on the Chew this week, it says Cheryl Hines. We're all like, yeah! yeah. It's a happy moment here at the Chew. I'm, I'm happy. You're like a genuinely happy, normal person, which I think a lot of <laughs> But a lot of celebrities are not. I mean, some well, some are. Most are some happy. Are. But you seem normal to me. If it's, I if feel it's... normal. <laughs> <laughs> our normal. Our, our, our kind our of normal. normal. Yes. Yeah, yeah, your normal is like uh, up here. Yes. Most people normal is like down here, <laughs> taking out the trash. Like, ah, oh, the bag broke. I'm mad. Right. Yeah. You guys were like, kick it up a notch. I know the bag broke. Let me get my neighbors and help me clean it exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like that normal. Like, oh, I don't want to clean it. Yeah, totally. Okay. All right, so it's our host like the pro show. Do you yes. like to host parties at home? I do. Yeah? I do, What's but I don't like to cook or clean. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty normal. That's pretty normal. <laughs> but you know what so you know what my trick is? What? I like to get um Chinese chicken salad, like a giant thing of it from a store. 
a store, a restaurant, <laughs> and then get the little, um, you know, the little like the to -go cardboard to-go containers, and then I put the chicken salad in there with um, chopsticks, and I set it out for everybody. It's, oh, that's great. It's like, it's like they went the chinois. Yes, <laughs> yes exactly. Right. Yeah. And then they eat it, and then they throw it away themselves. That's that's the best. Get your guests to clean up yes. for you. Uh-huh. That's, the, That's how I do I like it. it. I can just imagine. Hey, it's Cheryl Hines. I need 25 pounds of ch chicken salad, That's please. Yeah. And lots of tiny containers. <laughs> <laughs> they know. That's a good, I think that's a great tip, though. You do something that makes a very cute presentation, yes. but mm -hmm. it's self-cleaning. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you can walk around and eat. Yeah. Yes. I yes. love it when people get to walk around and eat yes. at a party. Me too. Wait, sometimes you get stuck at a table. It's like death. It's like you know, <laughs> You get stuck yes, with. Yes, right. It yes. can be awful. It All right. So awful. you are back after a six-year hiatus on Curb Your, oh. Curb Your Enthusiasm. We're of, all waiting for that. One of the funniest shows ever to be on television. Yeah. Um, and I, have to, I think the first time I met you, I said to you, I stumbled across Curb Your Enthusiasm, and I didn't realize you were acting. I, I thought know. it was like a documentary or something, and well, I was like, who is this they... woman, and why is she dealing with this crap? That's what, yeah, because I'm getting paid. Um, <laughs> that's what people say. They say, how do you put up with Larry? <laughs> because I get paid. Um, no, I love Larry. But yes, when the show came out, you know, Larry wanted it to feel like this could be a real show. Yeah. So I, fortunately, I was cast because I was an unknown actress. <laughs> so it worked in my favor yeah, sure. that I had done nothing. <laughs> um, and he cast me as his wife, so people might think I was really his wife. Yeah, yeah. which we did. I, yes, we which did. We did. My, even people in my hometown thought I was really married. You're to married Larry. to Larry David. Yeah. <laughs> like you never invited us to the wedding. Did you get to meet all the people from Seinfeld? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. Oh, you know what? Here, you brought the cheese. Yeah, I'll take Want to add, add the cheese to the queso? With my hands? You can just, or just pour it in, whatever you want. So I've oh, got... I want to use my hands. Okay, great. So but, we've got bo bo both. Both kinds of cheese. That's pepper jack cheese and um, American cheese, yellow American. This is jalapenos, bell pepper, <laughs> white onion, olive oil. Wait, it, was that a boo for American cheese? Or no, they love it. Ooh. Are you kidding? Yeah, that was ooh. It was ooh, not boo. Oh, ooh, watch this. Ooh. They love Add cheese. some more, Cheryl. Watch this. <laughs> ah. They're going crazy over odd. there. Right? Our yeah. audience loves the cheese. I mean, do I, do, I, do I put a lot in? A lot in. Put it all in. Yeah, it's queso dip. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. That's just cheese. Queso, is, queso for is, cheese. What is queso dip? Just cheese, but it's like melted else. cheese, but there's like jalapenos and little yes. bits of pepper and onions in there as well. So well, well, what makes it creamy? Uh, oh, cream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Done here. My work is done. All right. You did yeah. so good at that, Michael. Would you uh, I'll maybe stir yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. yeah Come on. You want to give me a little stir. cumin and yes. some? Um, Can I smell in here? This? Yeah, sure. And some chili powder in here and some ground beef. So Never I've got... understood uh, cumin. Oh wait. Oh, yeah, What's yeah, it's happening in here? Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of the cumin to in the here. ground beef. This is ground uh, grass fed beef. Should I be involved? Do it. Do it. That's good. That's perfect. Okay. And a little bit of that. And what was that? Chili powder. Chili powder. And then we're good to go. So when we come back, we're going to assemble this tater tot pizza. Now, before we go, I have a question. Yes. How do you feel about the idea of tater tot taco pizza? Tell me the honest truth. <laughs> I'm concerned. Oh, you are? Well, she's about from Los Angeles. Angeles. <laughs> oh, yeah, there are calories in it. Yeah, and carbs? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't understand it, but I'm open-minded. Okay, that's what I like about you, Cheryl. All right, we're going to finish this up and chat more with Cheryl Hines right after the break. Don't go away. Yes. Oh, hi. What's going on here? Oh, it's just a little party. How come I wasn't invited? To the party? Yeah, why wasn't I invited? You just had dinner at my house. I know, that was so nice, and uh, we had a great time. Okay, so how come you're not inviting me? Where's the reciprocity? Well, I'm gonna reciprocate, but not this <laughs> you're one. You're gonna reciprocate? This yeah. was the opportunity to reciprocate. Can't wait. Welcome back. That was a clip of Cheryl Hines in the hilarious comedy Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh. So, I think what a lot of people don't get about Curb is that um, you basically, you don't really have a script, right? You, you have, have that not have improv. You've got it's all improv. Love it. 
but all improvised. You have a general like outline though that you have to follow. Right, Larry writes a, a, an outline, so he is very specific about what he wants to happen in the episode. That's why it all makes sense and it's yeah. all you know right. put together perfectly. But there's no dialogue written. Out. Okay, so you have to get from point A to point B in your own kind of way. Yeah. I would imagine though that when you are doing that sort of improv, like things can go wrong all the time. Things can go wrong. You know, my first day back, we're shooting this big party scene and um, somebody passed out in the party. Oh. And I wasn't sure who was part of the scene. <laughs> because nobody ever tells me what the show is about. <laughs> I don't even know, you know? So I'm like, does anybody see that happening? <laughs> and then somebody else said, oh, okay, I guess uh, let's hold. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's hold. <laughs> Somebody on the that's floor. A per, that's a person <laughs> on the Someone ground. Fainted. On the ground. Just hold. Hold. <laughs> so we held, and she was fine, and had some apple juice, and got back to it. <laughs> so it was that's like an extra. Pro. It was like an extra. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She was off. a trooper. A she trooper. was a trooper. All right, Cheryl. Here we go. Yes. It's our tater tot taco pizza, which yep. I want to. This will be your these, carb. These guys love this. Idea. I mean, Clinton, honestly, you promised us a crust. This is a potato bowl. It's a potato, it's a potato bowl. bowl. This is amazing. All right. Sure. Since yes. you brought the cheese, do you yeah. want to give me a nice spoonful of cheese I on would, top of this? I would, I would love to. Yes. All right. So we have our tater tot crust. We have our ground beef with onions and spices. May I ask you something? How often yeah. do you get a spoonful of cheese? Right? I, I never get a spoonful <laughs> of cheese. Is this something that you feel like you're going to be able to cut and stir? Yeah, yes, it does. It actually cuts well because that crust I, works out. I want to see it. Okay. All right. Great. And then we're going to do like, we're going to do all the taco toppings, Ooh, like some yes. lettuce and some jalapenos. Oh. Maybe, maybe Wait, more lettuce. Or maybe less again? cheese. A sprinkle? It's tater tot taco pizza. <gasps> it came to me in a dream. In a drunken dream. In a drunken yeah. dream. Yeah. Give me those yeah, tomatoes. Do you want to put some tomatoes on it? That's a vegetable. That, uh, thank you. We eat those in L.A. Okay. Great. Um, so did you take, like, sleeping aids before you <laughs> had this dream? Because sometimes that does. It was, yeah, it was a bottle, a bottle of wine with my sleeping aid. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we can cut it or we can just dig in. Oh. What do you want to do? You want to cut it? I, it's your dream. I, I feel like I want to see the challenge of you getting it out of this. <laughs> Cheryl, you used to be one of my favorites. Oh, I love Cheryl. <laughs> All right, I'm let's see. I'm a realist. I'm a, You're ad libbing. I'm a practical yeah, she's ad libbing. Person. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at that, Cheryl. Here it comes. That's a slice for you. Oh! It's going to work. Thank you. <laughs> Can I use this? Yeah, I might eat off of your plate about that. Yeah, right. please do. It's the soup that eats like a meal. <laughs> a little bit of crust. I'm not sure how to eat it. it there's no wrong way. No wrong way. Okay. Okay. It's going to be good. Come I on. It's going to be good. Well, you know. <laughs> it's got a lot of good stuff in it. <laughs> 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 I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll take that compliment and yeah. I will run with it. Because yeah. I'm going to eat this whole damn thing. Um, I mean, mm. Mm. if you came home drunk from a party. Oh my God, you'd eat the whole you thing. You would love this so yeah. much. Bingo. Yeah. That's it. Done. Deal of approval. Nailed it. Thank you, my dear. Nailed it. Nailed it. Be sure to catch Cheryl in season nine of Curb Your Enthusiasm on HBO. Check your local listing. Up next, Michael's making some football fades for your next party. Now, I do. You know you like it for us. Welcome back to the Choose host, Like the Pros Extravaganza. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Chew. Now, before I get started, Clint, I got to tell you, is that the chef in me, I didn't really want to like this, and I can't stop eating it. It's so good, right? <laughs> It's so good. In the Midwest, we call it a salad. Right. In LA, definitely not a salad, but it is so good. You it's... and I have eaten half of it. Just oh my God. You and I have uh, housed half of that together. Yeah, I'm going to jog back to Cleveland. Yes. <laughs> well, right. I'm glad Give you like it. Plate. But you know, other than this, you know what I'm really excited about? What? It is football season! <laughs> so, speaking of which, we've got some yeah. big games this weekend. We got the Panthers versus the Patriots. We got the Steelers versus the Ravens. Bottom we have my beloved Browns versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah! But you know, you won't have to wait until Sunday to see all the action. I am creating two dishes inspired by teams going head to head on Sunday. Both are guaranteed to make you the MVP of your viewing party. First up, from Miami, Florida, and representing the Miami Dolphins, we have 
Arroz con pollo! All right, let's take a look at the stats. It weighs in at about 8.6 ounces per serving. Has an offensive line filled with bold flavors. And it tackles the competition with chicken and rice. Looks good. Next up, inspired by the great city of New Orleans and representing the Saints, Jambalaya! All right. What do we got in the stats? It's weighing in at a very lean 7.4 ounces per serving. Lean and lean. It goes from tabletop to touchdown in just 55 what? minutes. And has a defensive line filled with spice. <laughs> wow. The monster truck voice really takes it out of me sometimes. All right, so we're going to look at these two dishes side by side, and then we're going to let our tasting uh, table taste them to see if we could decide the winner of the football game through food. Oh, like a prediction. Yeah. Prediction. Nice. All right. Oh. All right. So first, CK, arroz con yep. pollo. So we have the, the meat cooking in the pan. We have some chicken thighs browned in the pan and a little bit of olive oil. Yep. Next, we're going to start with the veggies. In the uh, chopper, you have onion, one onion, jalapeno, cubanelle peppers. Cubanelles. About uh, six cloves of garlic, one whole tomato, a bunch of cilantro. And a whole bunch, stems and all. Pulse that all up. Okay. All right. And then you're going to add that into your, into your meat and let it get going. Okay. Do you want it smooth? Smoothish or chunky? S chunky. Chunky, okay. I like my vegetables chunky. All right. All right. <laughs> Moving over to jambalaya. We have the meat and veg for jambalaya. We have chicken breasts, which are cut into cube. We have andouille sausage, which we brown both of those in the pan. Oh, no. Equal parts of both. Now, time for the veggies, Carla Hall. We have onions. We have celery. We have green peppers. And we have garlic. And jalapeno. So you guys can see a lot of the flavors starting off are very similar. And one of the things I love about these two dishes is you probably have the ingredients to make both at home. So you could kind of look at them and then decide what you're going to do for your party. That's right. All right. Arroz con pollo, I'm coming back to see you. All right, here we go. Here we go. You look spicy and delicious. That's what everybody says about me. All right. Okay. So this is starting to sweat in here. Now we are going to add our flavor enhancers and the rice. First, CK, we yep. have a little bit of tomato paste. We're going to move over our sweated veg, put in that tomato paste. Remember, you, you want to let that it. brown till it gets a little bit rusty. Mm -hmm. And then you could also add a half of a tablespoon of paprika and one tablespoon of cumin okay. and let that toast in the fat also. Okay. Once that toasts, you're going to add your rice, you're going to add your chicken stock, and the simmering is going to begin. Mm, can't wait. How are you feeling? Smells good. Oh. I feel good about this dish. Do you feel that, you feel that this is going to bring the dolphins to victory? I'm feeling the dolphins all the way. Do you know who the dolphins are? They're, they go like this. Beep, beep. Okay. It was that fish that was in your bed while you were okay. sleeping. Okay. Back to Jamalaya Zone and its flavor enhancers. Carla Hall, we have, first we have chili flake. Yes. We have a little bit of paprika, about a tablespoon. Yep. We have a quarter teaspoon of cayenne we pepper. We like it spicy. We like it spicy. Two bay leaves. Yep. One can or about eight ounces of San Marzano tomatoes smashed. Talk to me. A little Worcestershire. Sprinkle it in. Rice. Oh, sprinkle that too. <laughs> Hit me with the stock, girl. Hit you with the stock. <laughs> All right. Now, over here, this is going to simmer for about 12 minutes. Once the 12 minutes are up, Carla is going to put in the shrimp. The shrimp is going to continue to cook. After halftime, we're going to show you how these both turn out. You need to stick around. <laughs> All hail Dale, because she's our juror of the day, with just a pan and a plan. Hostess with the mostess, Dale whipped up this mouth-watering roasted chicken with potatoes. You go, girl. Post your photos and videos with the hashtag you on the chew for a chance to be our juror of the day. Don't go anywhere. Get ready to host like the pros today on the chew. Welcome back. Now, before the break, I started two dishes inspired by teams facing off on the football field this Sunday. A jambalaya for the New Orleans Saints. And an arroz con pollo for the Miami Dolphins. So here's what we do with the arroz con pollo. We took, first we browned those chicken thighs. Yes. Then we added all those delicious vegetables, the tomato paste, the spices, the rice, the stock. It cooked for about 20 to 25 minutes till your rice is tender and the chicken is cooked through. Shazam! Mm. 
Mm. Now, Clinton, to yes. finish this off, I want you to add some chopped green olives. Yes. Ooh. And a little bit of chopped fresh cilantro. Yes. And then you could start stirring oh, that together. Stir the whole thing together. Yeah, so we okay. could get all those flavors kind of. Got it. I would serve it like this. Yeah, and let it's people pretty. scoop it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, Carla Hall. Over ah, here. over here. We have the jambalaya. What? Very similar technique. We took the the cubed boneless skinless chicken, the andouille sausage, we brown that up, the spices, the rice, cooked it for about 12 minutes, mm. then added the shrimp, and in about another eight to 10 minutes, that was ready. Carl Hall, could you garnish this with a little bit of scallion and lime juice? Yes. Oh my God, it looks so good. It smells delicious. I would like you to make plates for your competitors. Making a plate? Yes, sir. And but really what this is all about is I am almost positive that we could predict the winner of football games with food. So we are gonna go to the tasting table. I mean, it gives us as good a chance as anything else, to be honest with you. We're gonna go to our tasting table. They have been digging in at the break with both dishes. We're gonna let them vote and they will predict Sunday's winner, winner based on taste alone. So, tasting table, are you feeling good about this? All right, here's how this works. If you feel that Rose Campoyo or the Miami Dolphins are gonna be the victor this weekend, please raise your orange pom-pom. One, One two, two, three, four, five. Five, okay. Oh. Now, if you feel that Jambalaya is gonna bring it home with those saves, put up your gold pom-pom. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need a tiebreaker. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. It is five to five. So now the only way that you could do this in sports is you guys have to decide. Oh. oh! Why did I give it to the big guy in the audience? Ready? Come on, go. Okay. Okay. There's no ties in football. Oh my God, it takes time to chew. You know what? I actually think they're both delicious. There's no loser here. Bet big on the tie. I mean, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> All right, good, good. I put twenty dollars on that. Time. Twenty dollars on the tie. <laughs> All right. So sometimes you don't have a winner, but tying is okay too. We're gonna see what happens this weekend, but you guys need to stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> Want to host like the pros? Then pay attention right now. Welcome back to the tube. Now, hosting a party can be super stressful, especially when it comes to cooking for a crowd. But you know what doesn't have to be hard? A delicious dessert. Yeah. So today, we're making a birthday icebox cake that is so easy and guaranteed to impress your guests. I mean, this is so delicious. So I know, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So here I have three cups of softly whipped cream. I'm gonna, and then make sure it is softly whipped because if it's over whipped, you can't add other ingredients. So I have it on low once it's softly whipped. So I have a half a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of powdered sugar, and it helps if you actually sift it before you get to this point so that you don't get any lumps. And a half a teaspoon of salt, and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. All right, so that gets all mixed up and it looks, I'm just gonna just a little, so that gets all mixed up together. Okay, perfect. Now, so we're gonna take these tasty cake, cake chips. So they're crispy like a chip, yet sweet like a cake. So it's the perfect thing to add to our ice box dessert. Yeah. And we're using their birthday cake flavor, but you could also use their salted caramel flavor yeah. in this recipe if you wanted to. <laughs> totally up to you. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Ready? So, All yes. Right. We have a layer of... So we have a layer of our cream. Okay. I am breathless with excitement. <laughs> I'm going to break this so it sits, okay. sits perfectly. Yep. Okay, great. It's crafting. <laughs> so we put this down, and you're going to smear it with uh, an offset spatula, mm -hmm. and then we're going to keep building. Okay. I got to taste this. <laughs> you want to bring it all the way out to the edges? All the way out to the right. edges. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do another layer and yep. you keep going till you get to the top. Yep. All right. We'll do one last layer. Oh my gosh, here. it's so good. Okay. You have to make double of this, so make sure you have enough of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> You're working hard, CK. I am. Go, Clinton. I can you help. can help me out. I can. You can't reach it, with your no, little he's, arms? He's busy eating them. Oh, right. now I have little arms. Okay. <laughs> I'm just full for my taco pizza I thing. know that taco pizza. It was a lot. Okay. Yeah, All right. Here we go. All right, some more cream. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. Right? Oh, this is looking very delicious. Promising, right? Promising. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought mine was fine the way it was. <laughs> Let's go. That goes into the ice box or mm -hmm. the refrigerator, yep. as they're called now. Okay. Uh -huh. That's so old school, ice box. Right. Okay. And then, here it is when it's done. Yeah. Shall I do the honors? Yeah. Oh, look at you, scoring like a pro. Scoring like a pro, yes, yes. You want, what about the sprinkles? You want to finish it with sprinkles? Come on, Mikey, put the sprinkles on. I'm sprinkling, I'm sprinkling. Oh, that is beautiful. I actually like to cut before I sprinkle because then they kind of get some nooks and crannies. Yeah, I see. Oh, I hate taking out the first piece. It makes me so nervous. You oh, did that. great. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Should we all dig in together? Yes. Uh, here you go. There's Fork? some. There, oh, okay. There's some down there too. There you go. Oh, here right. you go. Well, I like to Everybody? share. I like Everybody? to share too. We share. I get to make a wish because I got the point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. Delicious, easy. I love it. You guys, these cake chips also make awesome snacks because they don't include any artificial flavors or preservatives. And guess what? You all get to try them, too, because you're going home with a Tasty Cake gift set. Woo! I'm going to keep eating the cake, but we'll be right back. If you'll be in the New York area and want to be a part of our studio audience, head to thechew.com to get your free tickets. We've got a seat waiting for you right here at The Chew. some trusty tools, can you? So let's test some gadgets that may make your next hosting affair a complete breeze. Mm. Okay, first up, right here in front of Clinton, we have the professional chopper. It's for chopping, dicing, mincing, produce, garlic, and more. It is $49.99. That oh. is a retail price. Clinton, okay. so take it away. 50 bucks. Let's see. I hope this works. All right, 50 so bucks for the chopper. For the chopper. All right, so you put a, an onion or a tomato or garlic in there, and what you do is you just actually, I think you slap it down, Yeah, right? slap it down. Yeah. I, I love this. And I'm going to tell you. That's pretty good. I'm going to tell you, good. I use something like this for a potato salad. When I mean, you have to do a lot of dicing, like the yeah, yeah. celery, the onions, the potatoes, and right. it works beautifully. All right, here, let's try something a tomato. Something soft. Okay. You want to make a salsa? Look, I got to tell you, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty good. A lot less to clean up than a You guys can't it. stop. Look at them. I just want to keep chopping. All right. Can't stop the chopping. Here we go, garlic. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Up next is the pomegranate tool. It removes seeds from a pomegranate without the mess. Uh, and this, these are, I gotta say, these are kind of a pain in the neck. To yeah, these one, this one I'm interested to try okay. because they are. It's a mess when you do it. So you put it in there, you cover it with little, whatever you want to call that, that little rubber thing. <laughs> and then you just whack away. And it keeps everything kind of... Because usually the, the seeds go flying all over your juice. kitchen. Yeah, yeah the, the stains juice. are closed. Okay. Right. Oh. What? What? Victory. Look at all these seeds. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. And next, Carla Hall will be demonstrating the fine and coarse nut chopper. It chops through nuts and is about $12.99. Carla, let it rip. Go, Carla. Go. Go. Oh. Go. 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 That's good. This one's good. Yeah! What do you think? I think they're a little dusty. A little dusty? That makes the nuts a little dusty. So, I mean, if you want, like, chopped nuts, I mean, I don't see why you can't put them in a bag and pop, 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 pop. All right. I don't know. Last but not least, Carla. All right, we have the citrus, the citrus spritzer. Say that one time. It adds flavor to salad, cocktails, seafood, and more. It retails for $9.99 for a set of two. You have a small one and you have a large one. Okay, when you're okay so I'm, I'm going to use a large one. Okay, so take the thing. I'm so excited about this. We had a little accident with this earlier. Oh, no, we didn't have an accident. You squirted me in the eye with it. <laughs> an accident would have been if it happened by mistake. Okay, you see that? You see that? That's amazing. Now, I just want to say... That I love. This is pretty brilliant. When you are looking for your citrus, make sure they're heavy because they have more juice. This you is have to cut the top off it like that? You cut the top off. Oh, okay. I mean, you probably could have done... I wonder if you just screwed it in. Yeah, I mean, why can't you Screw just... Screw it. See if that yep. works. I'm a strong man, Clinton, a strong man. Yep. Now spritz it. I heard it takes a couple pumps to get going. Look so, at that. Yeah. You don't, have you to don't even it. have to cut the top. You don't... That's 
awesome. <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty brilliant. I, I love this. For you at home, don't spritz your friends with this because it burns your eyes. Right. We're out of time. Thanks to Cheryl Hines for joining us today. Come back tomorrow because we're making Meals and Minutes with actresses Anne Hayes and Katie Mixon. Go to thechew.com and our social media for all things Q. And have a fabulous day!